I will show how to create courses and schools on Unschooler. Unschooler has two main parts. The first is the course creation section, where you can create courses with AI-generated videos, quizzes, and practical tasks. You can also create bundles that combine several courses into a single learning path. Additionally, you can create multiple white label schools. You can connect your school to your own custom domain, add your own branding, name, and many more features. OK, let's create a course. I will paste this prompt, leadership for team leaders in enterprise companies who want to improve performance and quality. Use simple language. I can provide additional instructions regarding to the tone of voice. The language should be straightforward with plenty of examples and best practices. Practical tasks should focus on daily goals. I will select public YouTube videos because I want to create a free course for lead generation or audience engagement. I click to generate my course plan and first I receive the possible plan. I can regenerate this plan without using my course limit anytime after adding some topics or correcting my prompt. Now I have the new version. I can change the order and add additional modules and lessons. And then I just generate the course. Now I have the skeleton of the course. This course is currently empty and I can generate it manually, step by step. To generate the course, I just need to visit the empty page. The simple is that no buttons are required. Additionally, advanced users have the option to generate all content with a single click. This can save a lot of time. But for now, let's generate modules manually. I will show you how it works. So I visit the first page, which is on an effective communication, and the generation process starts automatically. It begins generating the description, examples, and steps. Great, I get many examples with some emojis and explanations. I also get a set of videos from YouTube that I can apply to my course. By clicking on the thumbnail, you can select the appropriate video for your course. I also have the AI video option. What does it mean? This means I can generate a video using my own voice for this module. I will select this voice and generate my own video based on this content and my voice. I get this video. I can listen to my own voice there. There are many images here along with diagrams and pictures to help understand some concepts better. The best part is that this interactive video is editable. I can delete something, change any title, upload my own images, delete scenes, provide clear explanations, and even regenerate the audio. For each module, we get several lessons. The principle is the same. When I visit the empty lesson, it starts generating. For each lesson, by default, we get a text explanation with emojis, examples, and conclusions. If we connect public YouTube videos, it will also provide us with a video about this topic. Also, uh, I got the assignment, which is actually an active listening practice. Here is the instruction. I need to choose a partner, select the topic, create this section, and provide my solution to AI. I can explain how this se session worked, what it was about, and I will get the feedback from AI with some suggestions on how to improve along with the grade. And I will accomplish this task. For people who don't want to read a lot, we can generate audio narration. OK, I get the audio. We can also add quizzes. In each lesson, we have a button to add a quiz assessment, and when we click it, we get a separate lesson about the same topic. I can generate the quiz. We have several types of content here. A simple quiz with questions, and we can generate a quiz with a guide. This includes some explanations and interactive elements to help remember it better. Also, we have practice with AI feedback that I shown you before, where we can have an assignment and send our solution to AI to check it. If we don't like it, we can easily delete it on this page. All courses are editable. 
All of this content, including quizzes and videos, can be edited. Here is the button. And I can navigate to the edit mode with this button. When I click on it, I get the several tabs in the edit mode. The first tab is the about landing page. The second is dedicated to the content, where I can delete everything or edit everything. I can delete something here, add additional information, paste images and embed uh, YouTube videos with the direct link. I can also embed my own content here. Please note that you only need to provide the URL without the iframe tag. So it's also editable in terms of formatting. Regarding quiz options, I can add more options, delete them or change the explanations. I can also create my own lesson, for instance, my test. And here I can add my own options. One more thing is that I can generate a test for entire course. It will be the final test. When I click the Generate Test button, I get the predefined prompt that I can change. For instance, if I want to create a test for only one module, I can specify the concepts of performance evaluation and get the test about this module. So I just click this button and with one click I get the quiz inside the course. Here we go, I get it. It contains a lot of questions based on each module in this course. Let's publish our course on our own Whitetable school with our custom domain. First, I will create my school, which will be focused on leadership. I will provide the unique subdomain for this topic. I will add my logo, cover and favicon. Once I have saved it, I will be redirected to my school invite page, where I must log in with the same email that I used to create the school. Please note that you need to log in with the same email and this is important to be able to change settings, set up a custom domain and access to the settings button. OK, I log in now. I can select a theme for my school. Next, I will proceed with school settings and set up my custom domain. Here I select custom domain I can also connect Stripe payments and choose any other currency, but for now I will set up my domain. It will be unschooler.pro. I need to add two records to my domain register, the A records and the TXT record. If I have, for instance, a subdomain of custom domain like learn.unschooler.pro, then I would need to use CNAME record instead of A record, but I want to connect the main domain. OK, I will add these records now. The first is the A record and the second is the TXT. Now we need to wait for 24 hours. If you encounter any problems, please navigate to unschooler.me and drop us the link to your school to our help chat so that we can connect faster. After saving the changes, let's add the course that I created earlier. I click on Add Courses button and it was Effective Leader Train. And this is the course. I select it and add my course here. Additionally, I can add a specific section called bestsellers and I will add my course there as well. Okay, this is my bestseller section. In a few minutes, we will get the Unschooler Pro custom domain. I'm logging in with my admin account. Now, when I share my course, this course will have the custom domain in the title, along with my custom logo, favicon and title. This uh, AI course setup works the same as previously. For instance, I can create a course about leadership 
and I will now select a PDF document as a source. I will upload it. OK, it has been broken down into two parts and I will generate the course from this PDF. Great, let's generate it. OK, I have generated this first module. Now I have the first module from my PDF with some videos, images and beautiful diagrams. It also uses my own voice by default because I added this option as a default. After verifying the custom domain, I can set up email settings for my school, which helps me send notifications and invitations on behalf of my own brand, Unschooler Pro, not Unschooler Me. OK, let's set up it. First, it will provide the DNS records for me, which I will then add to my DNS provider. OK, I have added all of these records. None of them are proxied. Let's try to verify. OK, we are waiting for the verification from 15 minutes up to 72 hours. However, uh, in general, it takes around 2-3 hours. When my custom domain for email is ready, I can send invitation for my colleagues and students. I can invite my colleagues as a creators and creators will see this form and will be able to create courses. Please note that creators cannot see the school settings, they cannot set up custom domain payments and other settings inside schools. They can only create courses, invite their own students and manage the educational process inside their own courses. They will not see your drafts and courses of other creators that is not published. So I will invite my colleagues and students. I will provide the email of this person and invite as a creator. Send the invitation. OK, let's check. I get the invitation from Unschooler Pro and correct email and the link. Also, I can invite students. Here I can apply this additional permission. For instance, I can make any student as a course creator. And the last thing that I want to show you today is how to embed your course into your own platform, your own website, maybe your own educational space, for instance, Notion. So I will show you. First, we need to navigate to the course and go to the Any Lesson. The Embed button is placed in the Lesson settings. and here I can copy and paste the link, the embedding link, to my platform. With the iframe text or without this, it depends on the embedding function of your platform. It would be better if your website allows to embed this iframe from one side to another without margins. If it has margins, it cannot do anything with. This is not uh, the restriction of our platform. This is the restriction of platform where you embed. So please make sure that you do not have margins. But it works pretty same. I can see all of this content. I already log it in. I can subscribe here. I can join again as a student. And uh, definitely I need to log in on Unschooler to create payments or join the course and uh, login also works in the iframe as well. I can share not only the whole of this page but also single module. I will show you how it works. When I embed a single module, it shows only the content of this module so you can limit the access but providing the access only for one lesson, if you, for instance, want to restrict access. 